Hey, what's going on guys? You might be having a problem with your Xbox One or PS4 controller with No Man's Sky. Now the issue might be that the sensitivity is way too high or perhaps that some of the key mappings don't work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem so that way your controller can work like normal for the PC version of No Man's Sky's next update. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you connect to No Man's Sky with your controller, um, you're going to want to go to the menu and you're going to find the options right here click controls and then with the, the mouse and keyboard you're actually going to see options here to configure the controls but no man's sky for some reason wants you to do the controls um, in terms of all right guys for some reason my capture software wouldn't let me kind of uh, look at this screen through the software and when you pull up the controls this is what it looks like um, you know it kind of pulls it up through like this kind of steam interface and I think that might be kind of the heart of the problem is that it's kind of pulling up this interface and um, it just kind of gets confused. The game has naturally built in uh, key binds and configuration for each controller, which work pretty well, but things get confusing when you pull up this. So right away, we have the, the right setup right now, but when you go to browse configs, chances are you might accidentally pick uh, this option, which is for the Steam controller. And it automatically seems kind of assigned to this option as well. And the Steam controller isn't gonna work well, the Xbox controller, because that sensitivity is gonna be too high, and some of the key binds might get messed up. So the way that you fix this is that you're going to go down to templates and just pick the normal gamepad option. Um, once you do that, click apply configuration. And then from here, you should be able to load up No Man's Sky and play with the Xbox controller without any problems. Uh, you, you can see here, it's working um, pretty good. Here, let me just show you this. Yep, you can see uh, sensitivity uh, could be improved perhaps. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Go to what you're going to want to do is click uh, properties, go to local files, browse local files. Once you get here, it's going to look like this, and you're going to want to go to binaries. Once you get to binaries, click settings, and then this is the m setting you're going to want to update. So click open with um, notepad, and then this is what it's going to look like. So you might be wondering, well, how the heck am I supposed to find it? For some reason, Control F didn't work for me, so I actually had to find it manually, which took me quite a while, actually. Um, but if you scroll to the side, you can actually see at the top, um, right here, um, right there at the top. So it's going to be, you know, scroll over there. Um, so flight sensitivity, um, and then you see the look sensitivity. So value is 20 right now. Uh, if you want it to be higher, you could just double it. Um, it'll probably double the sensitivity. Um, if you want it to be like, super fast, maybe go for 100. Um, and then once you do that, you just go ahead and save, um, exit, and then um, load Norman Sky like normal, and it should have that increased sensitivity. So guys, thanks for checking out this video. Pretty much the basic summary is that No Man's Sky likes to kind of assign you to the Steam controller. What you're going to want to do is pick that gamepad option. And if the sensitivity is still not right, but the key bands are working, you're fine with the controller, you could go ahead and increase the sensitivity or decrease the sensitivity in the settings as I showed. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. My name is Tom Spark, and I'll see you again on the next review, tutorial, or helpful video.